Hello everyone, it's me, Ikario! Okay, just forget what I said in the end of the last episode, at least for now, because uh, this week turned out really nice. There are some really epic monster mods for example, but I would say I should stop blapping and let you see for yourself. The intro's approaching, see you in 5.6 seconds. The first mod we are going to look at is an ENB preset. Woo, right? It's been a while since we had one of those. Also, don't forget to update your ENB binary files if you still haven't to version 0.3.10. So, the preset is simply called Soul by Charlotte JC. As usual, this is a comparison to Rudy ENB, I'm still using it. Soul ENB is supposed to be a realistic, yet fantasy looking ENB. You are probably wondering, how is this supposed to work? Realistic and fantasy at the same time? Well, I actually think this description fits this preset really well. The colors are not too heavily saturated and juicy, like with Rudy ENB, the sharpening also seems stronger, but at the same time, the overall picture seems really creamy and smooth. It reminds on a movie effect maybe, you know, like some movie filters really enhance the picture in a way to increase the atmosphere. This is where this fantasy feeling comes from. I think this ENB preset is indeed really interesting and very well done. I however will still be sticking with Rudy ENB for now, because one, it's a kinda a personal taste thing, I guess, and two, Rudy is really more suited for YouTube. Because seriously, YouTube really messes up the quality in a way. Sometimes the stuff we see on screen seems really epic, but once uploaded it can very well be somewhat blurry and meh. Well, I <laughs> hope you know what I mean. The next mod is a custom voice follower, and a somewhat unusual one. Hell Unleashed by Nachdämmerung. You can find her at her camp, at the Kienstek ruins. And you will notice right away, she is definitely not a goody two-shoes and does not care much about morals. Well, I certainly won't deny my involvement. <laughs> Such a beautiful young thing. Yes, looks like she has been practicing necromancy, and she really doesn't care if you like it or not. She is actually quite sarcastic and will often make fun of the usual follower dialogue lines. No, by all means, I am a Thormor Justiciar on important business. Her voice, by the way, is made from vanilla female elf lines, so it will certainly sound familiar. But it's still a custom voice, the new lines are really well made, and modders usually use other voices, like the young Eager a lot, for example, to craft new dialogues. So it won't sound too overused for sure. That makes Hell indeed quite a unique character, and her sarcastic, superior attitude is really entertaining. Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. Hell also has some unique dialogue which will be unlocked over time, which also includes a romance option. As you can see, she also comes with a unique armor, and in terms of combat she will obviously use necromantic abilities, summon skeletons and such. So overall, a good and certainly unique follower mod. Okay, we have not done anything with our landscapes for quite a while now. Fortunately, there is something to bring some more excitement. A nice little mod by the name of Bent Pines by Wurt. The name already says it all right there. Some new bent trees will be added to the tundric regions of Skyrim to make it a little bit more exciting. Now the guards can be like, have you seen those trees from Hammerfell? They've got curved... Okay, that doesn't work that way, but seriously, those models look really awesome and the trees themselves are really, really huge. They are so big actually that they don't use billboards like usual trees in Skyrim, but instead are just visible from very far away, so I guess it's kinda like they have their own LODs. So I would say mission accomplished. That definitely makes the tundra of Skyrim more epic.
All right, people, it's about time we check out some epic monster mods. Here is the first one. Minotaurs by Mikhail Romanov. Hell yeah, now that's a really badass encounter. A really good looking model, I have to say. And since Minotaurs are a part of the lore, 100% lore friendly. For those of you who care about this kind of thing. And also, those guys are really strong. You will probably get your ass kicked on lower levels, but if you manage to beat this guy, you can grab his giant hammer. No pun intended, I meant the weapon of course. And what's even more epic, there are three more variations. Minotaur Gladiator. Now, that guy is definitely a complete badass. Just look how many weapons he is carrying. This reminds me of the Persuader boss from Dark Souls. Then there is the Minotaur Shaman with his burning fist. This one obviously uses magic. And I have to say, this one is a complete asshole. Spamming his splash damage all over the place. Yeah, this is really not a pushover. And last but not least, we have the Minotaur Lord. Okay, now this one is simply the boss. Just look at this menacing red eyes. You can clearly tell, yep, this guy means business. And look at this, even the pig came to help me in this fight. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell. Keep the badass music playing, because here comes another monster mod, also by Mikhail Romanov. This one is of dwarven nature, however. Dwarven Colossus. Holy shit, this thing is huge. Here is a comparison, um, sorry, no banana for scale. Now, I'm not very sure if this is also part of the lore, but I can tell you guys, this is like the definition of badassness. This brings the whole dwarven automaton thing to a completely different level. Needless to say, this guy is strong as fuck. I was barely doing any damage, as you can see here. But if, and I say if, you manage to beat him, you'll get this really cool looking weapon with a nice effect. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you say just beating him is simply not enough, I want to make him my bitch. Well, guess what? You can actually do that as well with Dwarven Colossus Mounts by GG77. Visit your friend Faringa, buy the spells to summon and dismiss, summon this guy and the fun can begin. Okay, where is this kid who was saying stuff about leaking boots? Let's make him lick the Colossus boots while we accidentally step on him. Well yeah, this thing is just way too big to use indoors. It's also quite hard to steer, the turning circle is quite big. Well, outside is good too. Here we could accidentally step on Nazim or something. And what is this? Hey, Jarl Bolin, come on, build some bigger gates. Seriously, my ride can get through here. Yes, this is traveling in style. And now it's time to add some nitrogen to the fire with a nice weapon mod. Insanity Sorrow Weapon Pack by Insanity Sorrow and Calthrop. This is obviously a weapon pack, which contains a bunch of weapons Insanity Sorrow created over time, and now we get them all nicely packed up in one mod. Lots of cool stuff included, many items are Oblivion inspired, like for example those glass bows, which come in different colors. There are also for example those really cool looking Dwemer weapons, which look totally different from what we have here in Skyrim. Of course, there are also some unique ones, like the famous Umbra sword, the Cursed sword as it was called, or this sword right here, it's called Empire Longsword, but it's certainly from the Warhammer universe. What does it say on the blade? Strength, honor, victory, justice, triumph, glory! I love it! Almost all those weapons are of course added to the level lists, and you might naturally stumble onto them as you play the game. Or you could of course craft them. 
This is hands down a quality weapon pack and a great addition to the game. And this is it for this week's episode. As usual, links to all mods can be found in the description below. Don't forget to endorse the modders if you should use any of them. And if you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button and also subscribe for more Skyrim videos and other stuff. I and also MacDog, thank you all for watching. See you next week.